There'll be winners and losers, barn burners and snoozers this week in the SEC. Well, friends, we're halfway in, and the season just keeps getting better and better. Now get ready. Here comes some strong picks for week six. Vanderbilt at Kentucky. Big Blue Nation anxiously awaits the one team with a worse conference record than the Wildcats. After all, you can't spell Commodores without commode. And this one's going to stink like the northern end of a southbound goat. In a snoozer, Kentucky. Auburn at Mississippi State. It's a little known fact that Gus Malzahn hasn't used the internet since 2014 because that's the last time he was able to string three W's together. But after a trip to Starkville this weekend, old Gus may be looking to upgrade his service provider. In a barn burner, Auburn. Alabama at Arkansas. After throwing his weight around against Alcorn State, Brett Bielema now faces the challenge of picking on someone his own size. Figuratively speaking, of course. That Alabama squad is tougher than a one-eared alley cat. And if Brett thinks he's going to stop him, then I'd say he's one taco short of a combination dinner. In a barn burner, Alabama. Georgia at South Carolina. A last-second loss to Tennessee left the Bulldogs looking about as confused as a fart in a fan factory. But this week, the wrinkly-faced slobber droppers are out for revenge, and a paltry Gamecock squad has Kirby Smart drooling like a baby in a topless bar. In a snoozer, Georgia. Tennessee at Texas A&M. Last week's Hail Mary raised a host of hallelujahs in Big Orange country, but this Saturday, Butch Jones and company face a tougher test west of the Mississippi. This one has all the makings of an old-fashioned Texas shootout with a whole lot of fire and a whole lot of smoky. In a barn burner, Tennessee. Well, friends, that's all we've got for week six. And for all you folks down near the coast, hunker down and stay safe, and we'll see you again in seven days. From way down in Florida, up in Kentucky, Texas to Tennessee, there'll be winners and losers, barn burners and snoozers this week in the SEC.